In the previous video to this, I showed you how to connect the VFD mains power up uh, for a 230 volt system. And the VFD will actually change that single phase power and deliver three phase to the spindle. Um, now then, the cable you require is a four core three phase cable. Now you can purchase this at any decent um, electrician outlet. Uh, in my case, in Australia, Jaker sell it. Um, and you, you obviously need the right type of cable. This is 10 amp cable, three phase. Now a lot, a lot of people ask me, well, how do you work out the ampage, correct ampage cable that you require? Well, I'll show you. So everybody these days has smartphones and you just pull up your calculator. Now there's a thing called Ohm's Law. Now Ohm's Law is a pretty standard calculation to work out uh, watts and voltage and amps in the electrical, if you're an electrician or if you are doing anything electrical. Now I'll show you how it works. So in our case this is 2.2 kilowatt so that's 2200 watts. So 2000, I'll come a bit closer, hopefully you can pick this up. 2200 watts, okay? divided by the circuit voltage, which is 230. Now there's your answer, 9.56 amps. Now that's the maximum draw, okay? So maximum power that this can ever draw, and they don't, unless you stall them, uh, but I will say that the VA, VFD actually protects uh, the system. The VFD will only allow the maximum ampage that you set it to. Okay? So you can't overload the wire or the motor. Alright? Um, so this will never actually draw 10 amps. It will, you know, it will never draw it because it's a, it's a high speed, 20, 24,000 RPM maximum. And um, you know, once it's up to speed and cut in, uh, it's just not gonna draw the maximum ampage at all. And in, in addition to that, it's got what they call a soft start. In other words, it's not, the VFD doesn't switch on and bang, zip, this is straight up there. If you notice with a with a, a spindle, they start up quite slowly. Uh, they take about um, three, four, five seconds. You can actually set the time you wish this to come up to speed as well. Um, so, if it was a you know flick a switch and this came on immediately, uh, then that you will get a peak then of ampage draw. But, um, you know, it's, it's all protected. So, rub it in on a bit here now. So there's four cables in here and four different colours. So what we're going to do now is connect into the motor and I'm going to show you in detail how to do that. Incidentally, you will need ready flux solder and a soldering iron. You don't rely on crimped uh, electrical connectors for a three-phase unit. So what I've done is I've peeled back the outer layer of insulation on this three-phase, four-core cabling for the VFD. Now I won't uh, reveal the wires yet on the end because we've got to get them through the top of here and sometimes it can make it a little awkward. Uh, you know, it makes it fray up and whatever, the copper wires. So we're going to take this cover off now. Okay, so that's what's inside. 
A little wiring diagram printed on the inside of there. I don't know whether the camera's picking that up. Tell you how these are connected up. But you will find that there's a spare terminal on each of these and I have a terminal connector that I can put on the earth up there and you'll also note that three phase cable and here we go so that was the earth sometimes it's yellow sometimes it's green sometimes it's green and yellow um, and you'll notice that the colors here match up with those colors there so that's how they're going to be connected which is normal for a three phase unit right so I have I've taken off the three connectors for the three phase and this is a connector I've got for the earth so what you simply do I'll just show you one because it's pretty repetitious you don't have to take off too much of the insulation just choose the right Pop that off there like that, twine it like that. Now I'm going to do what a process called tinning. And also I'm going to use my little device that I've had for many many years. It's a helping hand. Put that in there like that. I want a helping hand. Now, the soldering iron has been uh, warming up for some time. So what you need to do is get a little bit of solder on your soldering iron. I'll zoom you in a little bit. You might be able to see a little bit better what's going on. So. First of all, we need to get some solder inside this. So just heat it up. Okay, we've got some solder in there now. Let me get our wire. All right, heat that up a little. Get some solder on here. It's called tinning, by the way. Just make sure you got solder on it. This is ready flux solder. Okay, so then heat this up. Pop it in there like that and release. And there you are, one soldered connection. So you just do that now on the three wires and we'll connect it up to the motor. Okay, so there they are, they're all soldered on and we're ready for connection, fairly easy. I've just pulled the conduit back so I can put this on, so to get this on. Put those through there first, like so. Then put these through here, like this. Will they all go through together? No. Three will. Then the fourth. So they go through. Pull that up there out right the way. So, very easy. Let's not tangle these wires up. It's nice to keep them nice and straight. On there, let's get the nut. I'm not actually tightening them up yet. 
because they're not going to stay like that. They're going to come in from this sort of angle, like that. Black next. The blue, like this. I didn't really like that idea, it's just an indication tag of earth. So I'm going to take that off and I've, I've put two little flat washers on here, which I'm going to screw in here to make a very, very good contact. Actually what I need is a pair of pointy nose pliers to hold that there because I want it to be in that exact position. Get that rubber up out the way. Slacking off a little bit. Pull that rubber up out the way. That's better. Tucks down there like that. Nice and firm. Because the the that, that's the area I've got there, that's where the inside edge of this comes, so I don't want to trap the wire in any way. Okay, so that's all fine. Now I can pull this up and just offer it up into here and make sure the wires are going to lie where I want them to. Yep. Yeah. That's fine, they're not failing in any way with each other. So now that can be screwed back on. And uh, this particular spindle has ceramic, four ceramic ball bearings. Because I use mine to cut aluminium as well. Aluminium, brass, copper. It'll cut it, it'll machine it. Uh, I do see people do try and machine steel as well, mold steel, wouldn't advise it. Okay, let's do this up now. When you do this up, it sort of clamps around the cable and stops it pulling out. Let's get a little shifter a minute. Just enough so it does. clamp on the cable like that because this is plastic and you know this is plastic as well you don't want to over it and snap it off. Now I can put the oh, this is the most difficult job I think getting this back on. There you go. Okay, so that now is ready for me to, I don't know whether, I don't think I'll put any uh, insulation tape to connect this, there's no need to really connect it, because what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a bracket, you can't see, can you? Oh, that's better, now you can see, so I'm going to put a some sort of bracket up here. Or I may, I may just put uh, some connected um, by something onto the back of here and give this plenty of slack, you know, to move up and down and not get caught up anywhere, which is which is fine. I may put a bit of insulation sealer on there just to connect it to that. But uh, you know, just got to make sure there's plenty of cable. You know, for this motor to go up and down, and uh, so really, that is the 
spindle connected up at the motor so now we will um, I might quickly actually pop a hole through there and put a zip tie there okay and now a couple of zip ties over the back here stop this floating around and hold it in the right position Okay, so I've just repeated the process down here at the the VFD. Now, the two we've got something to point with. Okay, so the two Earths. Now, this is the Earth Supply. Now, this is the Earth Supply uh, directly from the incoming mains. And this is the earth supply up to the VFD motor, which is the yellow lead. And here is the red, black and blue leads coming in. Now, I don't know whether you can see that figure on there. That's letter U, U is red. Now, I don't think you can see that in there, but the next one along is V. V is black and W is blue. Okay, now get in there a little bit closer. You might be able to see through from the side there. So that's U, V, W. Red, black, blue. Now that is the way that my VFD and my spindle is connected up that's the way the wiring says in the book and so it should be correct <laughs> 